Hi, and welcome back at home with Art Factory, box three, episode two. Today we are making pet rocks. Art Factory, creativity, weekly, Art Factory. So we're gonna take out of the packs the following things. You need your box that looks like that. Your pens that look like this, the Sharpie, and we're good to go. Inside the box, if you'll open it up, you will find pet rocks inside, or naked plain rocks waiting to be designed by you, and some paper, some coloured paper, which is going to be the bedding that goes inside. You can choose which ones you like. So, we're going to be decorating them with these pens that are included, these amazing acrylic pens. And these will be yours, I've got some for me. We're also going to be decorating the boxes that they come in, that they live in as well. And those are going to get all the details that they need. So first things first, we need to do a little bit of thinking. We need to do some thinking about what our rocks are going to be. I've got a few examples to show you of some that I made earlier, and then it's gonna be up to you to decide if you're gonna make a creature, if you're gonna make a monster, if you're gonna make a bug, a fairy, a human, a thing, something that's old or young. So, to get these pens going, what you need to do is give them a little bit of a shape and then press them down get them charged, you need to pump them a few times. Not too hard, but just gently on a piece of paper. I'm doing it on the bag that was wrapped around the box. And just carry on pressing it down on the colour that you want to use. And eventually the ink will soak down and be ready to come out the nib. Now they're not too blunt, these nibs, they're not too sharp, they're just right for what we need them for. And be delicate with these pens because we're going to use them for other activities as well. So don't scrape them on your rock too much. Okay, now that one is coming through very nicely, that beautiful bright colour, and that's ready to go. So you can't rush these things, that took about a whole 30 seconds to get that ready to go. And the pink is now ready for action. So we'll do that with the other ones when we're ready to use them. What I'm going to do is show you a few examples of rocks that I've created. And it'll give you some ideas of what you might like to do. So here we've got a kind of funny guy. He's got hair all the way around. Which one have you got? Hold it closer to the camera. It's like a ghost. Like a ghosty screaming guy with hair that goes around got this cute grandma. She's sweet, isn't she? Got this wailing guy with different coloured eyes and a gold tooth, pink eyebrows. Did you do the bumblebee? Yeah. And that ghosty. So it's totally up to you what rock you're going to be doing but we're going to be using our pens now. We're going to give them all a quick shake. We'll give them all a shake together like that. Be delicate with the nibs, and they're going to write on anything you want. So it's totally up to you what design you want to do on your rock. I want to get started. Get some paper down underneath you because these pens will stain the surface you're working on. Careful not to get them on your hands if possible. You can do a quick plan on a piece of paper. You can let the shape of your rock guide you as to what you're going to do with it. Like a skeleton, because of the shape of it, it looks like a skull. Good idea. I've got these two rocks. These ones. It's got this bit notched out of it there. That looks like an ice lolly. Like an ice lolly. It could be an ice lolly. It could be anything that you fancy it to be. If you wanted to. And also, the fact that you've got a few different rocks, and of course you could find your own rocks outside, means that you could do a collection of them, something that goes all together with each other. 
So yeah. family or loads of friends. Friends, yeah. Or yeah, or things in a series. It's totally up to you. <laughs> We have finished drawing on these pet rocks for today. So, I've got this fella here, he's two-sided. One face that's a bit screamy, and one face that's a little bit happier. One screamy, one happier. And he's also got a pet, which is a, a rabbity thing, and also a dog. So this is the double-sided, double trouble. And what have you got there? A baby. A baby? <laughs> Which is crying. A baby what? A baby... Baby rock? Yes. You could get some hair around the back of your one. Mm. Remember it's a 3D a thing beard. so it can go all the way around. <laughs> He's got a beard. <laughs> That's good. What else have you got here? Let's see that owl, that's excellent. Hold it up. Hat. I think you can make that, that beak a little bit yellower. And also, you can do round the back as well. Please remember these are a 3D thing. Let's work for a little bit longer and make them even better. And I've got this zombie. Thing. I like that zombie. That's licking his bogeys. A zombie licking his own snot. Fantastic. What are you guys going to do? I wonder. What else do you think I can do to this one to improve it? Maybe put a bit more black. A bit more black. Maybe to make the to make the pet to make him more rabbity or to make the dog more doggy. It's time for us once we've done a little bit more work on our rocks until we're really happy with them. It's then going to be time to do the boxes. So I'll show you how I do my box now with a name on the top here, on the very top, and a warning on the front of it, and possibly even a picture of what's inside. Let's show you, and then you can do your one for yourself. Good news for you, bad news for us. We've had a small accident here. Show them your hands. We don't want this to happen to you. She accidentally, instead of taking off the lid, she unscrewed the pen and ended up in a big mess. We're gonna to have to wash this off. How do we wash off the pen from your hands? Probably with soap and water. We'll give it a little go now. Okay. You need to go so carefully with these pens and be sure not to accidentally unscrew it when you're taking off the lid. The lid snap on and off, and make sure you put the lid back on when you've finished using it. Right, now let's go. Hands washed and back to work. Okay, it comes off with some warm water, a scrub. You might wanna put some sugar in there to make a natural scrub, to scrub against it. The, good, the main idea is not to get it all over your hands. Be careful and do not accidentally un undo the lid. Okay, we're gonna finish off doing these and we're gonna do our boxes, here we go. is all finished and all that's left to do with your one is to put in the bedding so we open it carefully like this and you've chosen yellow blue and purple to go in as your bedding there's some blue and green spare if you'd like that too well, it's up to you so just get that stuffed in there so it's going to be nice and cozy i'll show you how my guys have turned out so open please open carefully Inside is my pet rock, Jojo, and his pet, Woofluff. 
There's a picture of woof, fluff, and a bit of information. Jojo sleeps 20 hours per day. Woof Fluff eats marshmallows only. And then inside, I've signed it underneath. Inside, let me sleep, signs. Feed me marshmallows. And then I did some family pictures on the wall. And there they are resting inside. There's Woof Fluff. Kind of happy chappy. And there's Joe. Joe. And you've got a lovely neat bed that you've made over there. And beautiful pictures of what's inside, of who's inside. That's very handy. Gone all the way around your rocks now, around the back. So sweet. And lift up and that drawing there. Put these flaps together. She's done Bob, Jeffrey, and Hoot flowers. We love you. Amazing. So that's it from us. Thank you for joining us on this pet rock extravaganza. I hope you've got amazing rocks. Send us pictures so we can see them. And I look forward to seeing you next time on Art Factory Box 3, Episode 3.